All right, thanks for joining. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be deleting items from SharePoint 2010, items in the document libraries and the list libraries, and putting them into the recycle bin, and then restoring those items from the recycle bin back into their SharePoint locations. So real quickly, we'll start off with the document libraries. And so I have a bunch of items here. So some of the ways that you can delete items is you can just mouse over and click on an item and in the ribbon you will see an option called delete document um, so you can delete this way so I'll just delete it it'll always bring up a message prompt uh, just warning you that you're going to be deleting this item and it's going to be going to the recycle bin so you just click on OK and there we go our document's gone um, alter alternatively you could also delete from the drop down button so just mouse over an item, click on it, and then click on the drop down here, and you'll have all these options, and right at the very bottom you'll see delete item as well. So you can click here, and again, the same message prompt comes up, and then you click OK, and that, uh, item, that document is deleted. Um, you could also delete items, or delete multiple items actually. So if you notice, when I mouse over the, the documents, the document names, um, you'll see a little box pop up here. So what this box is, is pretty much you can put a check mark here and you can pretty much mark any documents or any number of documents at the same time to be deleted. This is an advanced feature from, this is not an advanced feature, but it's a new feature that was very, was lacking very much in 2007 where you needed to actually go into Explorer view and delete multiple items. There's no real way to actually delete multiple items using the standard default view uh, unless you had custom um, code or custom feature or whatnot. So now that's now native within 2010 and I could just click on delete from the ribbon and again message prompt will come up and then I delete and all those items are gone in one shot and they're all in the recycle bin right now. So real quickly we'll do the same thing via the task list and again it's pretty much the same scenario that happens within the document libraries we you can mouse over we click on it and then we'll, within the ribbon it'll change and we will see an, item, an option to delete the item from the ribbon or we can just click on it and look for the drop down and again we can delete the item from here as well so pretty much those are the simplest ways to delete items within SharePoint 2010. And to everything always goes to the recycle bin. And as we can see, I'm just going I just navigated to the recycle bin. And here are all of our items that we just recently recently deleted. So much like deleting, we can pick and choose exactly what we want to delete or what we want to restore. And we can restore in bulk or we can restore one item at a time. So let's just for starters restore We'll restore one task list item and we'll restore two documents from the document library. Okay, so we just click on restore selection. It's giving us a little warning. Are you sure you want to do this? And we click on yes. Processes. And next thing we know, our recycle items are a little bit less. And if we navigate back to our shared documents, here we have our documents all restored in their respective location. And we'll go back to the task list, which was once empty when we deleted. Now we have our task one item that we deleted. So I can just go back to the recycle bin and maybe I'll just finish up and restore the rest of these items. So I'll just do that again and again. Now we have all of our items back in their respective locations. So pretty much that's how you delete and the different ways to delete within SharePoint and restore those items back into SharePoint. I hope you found it useful. Thanks.